Toy Space. I remembered something that I had seen at Walt Disney World in Epcot. And if you've ever been in the Land Pavilion, there is a exhibit there. It's like a boat ride. And it takes you through what's called Living with the Land, and there's a greenhouse. And they've had a tomato plant in there growing for at least a couple of years. And they do a unique way to grow the tomatoes, so I decided to try it. And let me show you how it's turning out. First of all, this planter is from Lowe's, and it's called Patio Pickers. Now, I'll cover this next spring, because you know, I didn't start this till late. And I, but I wanted to see, you to see how this, well this is working. So as your tomatoes develop, and once you're done with this vine, and the leaves that lead up to it, you cut off. So I'm due, you only need to keep about two or three feet of the leaves growing. So I can trim all these off. And also if you have uh, those tomato worms, if the eggs happen to be on here or the small ones, you're getting rid of them as you go up the vine. Okay, you can see now where I've trimmed back to right where I'm starting to harvest. So I won't go any further up for now. I'll leave these, but once we harvest these, then I'll take another section of the leaves off. You can also see how easy it is for me to get to these to pick at them. So harvesting is no problem whatsoever. And the weight of the tomatoes pull them to the bottom. Now the other thing you need to constantly do is you just want one stem, so you need to make sure you remove any suckers. Here's a good example of suckers. You can see on this stem there is a branch that is growing out. This is what you want to pinch off. If they're large you can cut them off. There's another one, you can't see it quite as well. It's right in here. And this one's a little bit bigger. Just pull those off. Okay, if you look closely, you can see how I stripped this part, and you only need to keep two or three feet of the leaves. Once you get back to here where they're starting to turn ripe, you can start removing those leaves. That also eliminates a lot of bulk of the plant. And especially if you're like me, and you have a small patio, I'll have this vine grow all the way down that fence line, all the way across, and when I get to the end of my patio, to here, I'll just loop it around and take it back. Now I don't think my growing season is going to be that long. The other advantage is as I harvest this, the only thing that will be back in this area is a bare stem. And then I can put my patio furniture back where it was. There's a chair that goes there. So as soon as I clear that area, I'll put my chair back and it won't interfere at all. The only place there will be bulk is that two to three foot section as it grows around the patio. I hope you found the information helpful or interesting anyway. I'm going to call it patio gardening horizontal style. And uh, if you'll subscribe to my channel, I will be doing an update towards the end of summer to let you know how it actually worked out. I think initially the start looks pretty good. It's very interesting. It's very easy to get to those tomatoes.